That 2016 Nobel Peace Prize goes to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos, an advocate for peace. In the 1950s, Colombia was faced with a national crisis over the proper usage of farming land. By the end of the 1960s, 400,000 farming families had been displaced, and their land turned into industrial farms owned by the government. These actions were seen as unjust, and they sparked a national rebellion led by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC. Due to their guerrilla tactics, no one was safe, not even those not directly involved in the conflict. Santos grew up watching this terror and violence shape his country, and he wanted to stop the fighting. He enlisted in the Colombian Navy, learned business and economics from prestigious schools around the world, and then returned home to Colombia. In 1994, he founded the Good Government Foundation, whose objective was to demilitarize the parts of the country still fighting and establish peace with FARC. In 2010, he became president of Colombia and contrary to his predecessors, dedicated his entire platform to achieving peace at any cost. In September 2016, an agreement was reached between the Colombian government and FARC, stating the dispute would be settled with truth and a reconciliation-like process Instead of prosecuting the rebels, an admission of guilt would be made and reparations would be paid. This was the closest anyone had ever come to achieving peace. And this movement was widely supported by Colombian celebrities, including Shakira and John Leguizamo. Unfortunately, the referendum failed by a national vote of 49.8% for and 50.2% against it. Undeterred by this, he put the vote before the Colombian Congress, and on November 30th, 2016, the vote was ratified. At last, Colombia would know peace. Without forgiveness, there can be no peace. No one understands this more than Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos, winner of the 2016 Nobel Peace Prize.